Hi, my name is Samantha Conroy. Some of you may know me as Sammy. I will. I am an interior design student here at MATC, and I am here to talk to you about the cultural differences we will be seeing as we embark on our journey um, next spring in 2018 to Paris, France for one month. We will be overseas to see the cultural differences between us and the French. We also will be um, visiting some interior designers as well as some on-site interior design projects that have been completed in the past. I'm here to talk to you about the basic courtesy rules that we will be seeing over there as well as the business etiquette that we will be encountering. We should be prepared for this cultural difference that we will in our, our encounter, so here are some of the basic rules we should know. When entering and leaving a shop, greet and say goodbye to the staff. That is polite, of course, both here and there. Be aware of your surroundings. Lower your voice accordingly, especially in churches, museums, restaurants, theaters, cinemas, and the metro. Some French might give you a snarky look if you're being too loud. They are just telling you that you are being rude by being too loud. Um, other basic French language that we that we should know are have a nice day, which is bonjour. Um, have a nice evening, which is bon soirée. Um, nice to meet you is enchanté. And then we should obviously know please and you're welcome. When asking for directions or other help, be sure to preface your um, request with a polite phrase such as excuse me for bothering you, ma'am or sir. Um, in terms of greetings, when meeting someone for the first time, whether in a social professional setting, it is, a, it is appropriate to shake their hands, as well as kiss their, um, do two air kisses on each side. So you're going to lightly touch your cheeks to them on both sides. Do not um, smush your lips up to their cheek because that is very inappropriate. Um, in terms of visiting homes, um, which we will be doing, we will be visiting a couple of homes from um, the interior designers as they finish their projects. So when meeting someone for the first time, or um, if invited to dinner, be sure to gift such as wine, champagne, flowers, or chocolate. Um, when visiting a French home, of course, don't expect to be invited in the kitchen or take a house tour unless the host offers that to you. Um, don't uh, don't ask to take a tour of the house. It is very impolite. Um, in terms of eating, during a meal, keep both hands above the table, but keep your both elbows off the table. When dining out, note that the French will fill wine glasses only until they are half full. It is considered bad manners to fill to the brim. Um, bread is broken, never cut, and it is placed next to the plate, not on the plate. Coffee and tea are ordered after dessert instead of with dessert. Um, in fact, tea and uh, coffee are, aren't ordered with any courses during meals except for breakfast. So breakfast is the only time when you can have tea and coffee with your food. Otherwise, it is um, polite to have it or their courtesy rules say that you're supposed to have it after your dinner. Um, checks are often split evenly between couples or individuals. So if you get a salad and somebody else gets a full meal, you should um, split it straight down the middle. Also, with checks, um, the waiter will not give you your check until you, it is asked, or until you ask for it, because it is impolite for them to give it to you before you ask. Also, um, when you do get your check, gratuity is already added to it, so you don't leave a tip. That is also impolite, is to leave a tip, it's kind of rude. Um, eating on the street is generally frowned upon, except for coffee on the go, that is not frowned upon. Um, as I kind of mentioned earlier, um, language. So many French speakers um, will appear prickly to the first English-speaking visitors, but usually it helps when you try to make a little effort by speaking French. Um, however, if you don't know what you're trying to ask in French, speaking slowly in English usually will do the job, um, but not loudly, of course. Watch your voice. Um, now, in terms of the business etiquette that we will be encountering there. So we're going to go over punctuality and the dress code, of course. So punctuality. It is not acceptable in France to drop in on someone unannounced, and such conduct will be taken as an act of rudeness, whatever the occasion. So um, to drop in on um, your manager about a meeting or such, you need to make an appointment because it is rude to just drop in on them. While you should strive to be punctual, you will not be considered late. 
should you arrive 10 minutes after the scheduled time. So very different from over here, when you are late, it is not a big deal. And they don't apologize for it because they do not see it as a big deal. So that is very different over here. So don't be offended when somebody shows up late or when you show up late because it is okay. Um, the French themselves have very relaxed attitude when attending appointments themselves. So do not be surprised to find your French colleague arriving fairly late. Staying late at the office is common, especially for individuals in major senior positions. And for social events, being on time is more important, especially if the host has cooked a meal. So that is the same over here as it is over there. Make sure you're on time for things that are social. Um, meetings, however, much different over here as over there. They don't have to be on time. Actually, being 10 minutes late is okay, completely okay. Um, in terms of the dress code, so I am wearing a um, button-up collared blue shirt. This is basic dress code for them. It's a formal wear. I would, of course, wear dress pants with this. And being a woman, I would have to accessorize because fashion is a big deal over there in Paris. So they are going to judge you off of what you are wearing. Generally, dress needs to be formal, both for men and women, whether in business or social situations. As the French will perceive the way you dress as being a reflection of your social status and relative success. Do your best to make your clothing choices for tasteful and stylish. As I had mentioned before, they are going to judge you off of what you are wearing. High quality and conservative suits and accessories are recommended. Men should wear dark suits, particularly in the winter when visiting the north. We don't have to worry about that because we'll be there in the spring. But suits in France. Um, executives usually do not loosen ties and take off their jackets while at the office or in restaurants. Never be the first one to take off your jacket. Visitors are advised to dress simple and with elegance. So that would be us. As well, tailored business suit or a dress is appropriate and good shoes are a must. Again, they are going to be looking at what you're wearing. When you receive an invitation stating informal, don't just assume it's jeans and a t-shirt like it is over here for us. Over there, for social gathering, informal usually means tasteful, coordinating clothes, including a jacket or um, a tie for men. An invitation stating formal dress means formal evening wear, like it is over here. So, tuxedo and a formal dress for women. Um, these expectations for formal attire are now applicable for business meetings. So, um, they uh, casual Friday over here is... Um, jeans and that has become more of a thing over there for the French however in business meetings a formal dress is required for those business meetings so if you do have a big meeting on a Friday we should expect to be wearing formal dress um, we won't be in encountering um, business meetings as much as we will as on the job and um, we will be encountering some on the on-site projects and that would be more of the house um, we will be getting tours of those because those are hosts that are giving us tours. Um, we will be having a meal at one of the family's houses, so we should remember those rules I had talked about earlier. Um, now, in terms of what we should basically know while we are traveling, a good thing to know is the basic geography of the city. Um, so we should know um, exactly where we are at all times. Um, pretty much we should know. Um, and... Then, as I went over the language, we should know the basic rules or the basic words like hello, you're welcome, thank you, and things such as that. Uh, if anyone has any other questions, I would be glad to help you. I did find out a bit more about the language, and I will be handing out some words that we can study together. Otherwise, Google Translate or an app would work perfect while we're over there because you can speak into it, and then they can hear it. That would also help as well. Thanks, guys.